welcome to Vlogmas Day. I always forget what day it is. 14? I think it's 14. <laughs> so welcome. It's a little bit afternoon. I look a hot mess. I just got up and got a shower. Honestly, I just want to lay back down. Every time I get up, I'm just like, uh, I want to lay back down. And I'm like out of breath. Um, but I got the kitchen cleaned up. We had some dishes left over because I made a big, huge batch of chili last night. And um, it was just a mess trying to portion it out and freeze it and everything late at night. But I got that all cleaned up. I'm going ahead and starting on dinner for tonight. So I'm doing another freezer meal. I am really trying to get this freezer full of meals for after the baby's born. And tonight it's the Pioneer Woman's Sour Cream Noodle Bake. Things are beeping. Who is this? It's David. Um, we're trying to get in to get Nate and him a haircut before Christmas. Nate's hair is so long. Anyway, so I'm going to freeze. I'm going to make two. I'm going to freeze one and eat one tonight. That's how I've been stocking the freezer. Just one meal at a time. And this is the last one I have to make this week. And I'll be caught up with what I wanted to do. It's a miracle. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to make the whole thing right now. I'm just going to boil the noodles. So that'll be done. And then I'll rest a little bit. <laughs> and then my next burst of energy, I'll cook the meat sauce. And then I'll just have to layer them. It's a really easy recipe. It's just like a little bit time consuming when you have to cook the noodles. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Got a big pot of water here. Slowly coming to a boil. Um, and then, like I said, I'll layer it all tonight and get that going. So in the freezer, I have a good probably six or seven meals maybe I'm up to. Maybe not that many. I think it's about that. Um, I need to go in there and like count. If you count all the chicken pot pies, I definitely am up to like seven or eight because I made three chicken pot pies. I'm excited about those. I need to do another few chicken pot pies. So those are really good reheated or not reheated, but baked fresh from the freezer. So anyway, got up this morning. Nate slept so much better. Yesterday, I was telling you guys he was up at before four. Today, he slept till 6.15. Lucy slept good. Last night, she was saying she felt like she was going to throw up. So I slept with like one ear out <laughs> listening for that. I left a bowl, bowl with her in the beds and told her, if you feel like you're going to throw up, throw up in this bowl. But she was fine. I think she had some kids throwing up yesterday at school. And I think she just kept thinking about that. Ugh. So she was all paranoid. She woke up. She's fine. She ate breakfast and everything. And she was good. So she's at school. Nate's at school. I've had a very leisurely morning. Um, I laid down. I was like, I'm just going to lay here for 30 minutes. Why do I do this? I'm just going to lay here for 30 minutes. I am not going to go to sleep. I'm just going to rest my back for a little bit. Totally fell asleep for like a good hour. Um, finally got up, took a shower, and I'm actually dressed today, y'all. I'm wearing real clothes. And you guys, I am 31 weeks pregnant today. 31 weeks. Oh my gosh. I can't even believe that. The thought that we are going to have a baby in just a few weeks is crazy. Um, when should I start packing my hospital bag? When did y'all start packing your hospital bag? I mean, I feel like with the other two I did later, like maybe like 34, five weeks, maybe like right after Christmas. But um, I want to do the video too, like what I pack. So I need to, I need to at least start making progress putting some stuff together. I've got everything I need, except I want to get some really comfy PJs, a couple of pairs. So I need to like look around. Just some like ones from Walmart are probably fine. Um, I like buying myself some new comfortable clothes for right after the baby's born because, you know, you just don't feel, you don't feel your best and it'll be better than like my ratty t-shirts that I normally sleep in. So Anyways, I need to get going on that. Let me know. When do you guys, when did you guys, if you had a baby, when did you pack your hospital bag? I kind of need to get a move on that. It's not, not now, but soon. I'm thinking like right after Christmas, maybe. Um, My water's almost to a boil. Anyway, I need to do a lot of things. But honestly, like I said, I just, I have zero energy. When I stand up, like I told you guys yesterday, this pregnancy has been so hard like pressure wise the baby feels low and so when I stand up 
like the gravity of my belly and everything. It just really hurts. So I've really been trying to rest as much as I can because when I rest, it gets a lot better. When I'm on my feet a lot, the pressure gets worse. So I'm going to try to take it sort of easy today, but we also have a lot of stuff coming up. We have a jewelry show tonight, so I need to kind of get in there and rearrange some things. Um, we have a cookie swap on Saturday. I would love to go ahead and bake the cookies either today or tomorrow morning so that I don't have to do that tomorrow night. That would just... We're already going to be pushing it, getting all the jewelry ready and everything. So really, if I could do it today, that'd be the best. But I don't know if that'll happen because... I've got a lot of other stuff to do. I think what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to get some uh, lunch, which I have no idea what to eat. I'll find something here. Get some lunch and go ahead and edit the vlog from yesterday. That'll let me rest a little bit where I'm not on my feet, but it'll get that out of the way. Get my no noodles boiled. <laughs> then uh, when I go get the kids, I can put together the rest of the... It's really easy to brown the meat. That's all I have left to do. Brown the meat and then just put everything together. So... If you like freezer meals, which I really like them, not everything, but a lot of things freeze really well, my best tip is just to make double. Whenever you're making something, make double and freeze one. So any kind of like casserole freezes really well, pasta, baked kind of lasagna kind of things freeze well, chicken pot pies, um, soups that aren't creamy freeze better, like chili, taco soup, that kind of thing. Um... And pasta and soups don't freeze well. But pasta like in a baked, non-liquidy kind of thing, I've had better luck with. So just my tips because I watch, every time I try to Google and watch or YouTube freezer videos, it's people that are doing like 10 plus meals in one day. And I just do not have the time or energy for that. So anyway, I'm going to get moving on this, do some editing. And it'll be time to get the kids in about an hour and a half. So that's how fast the day goes by. But we're cranking right on through, you guys, 31 weeks. I'll have to do an update for you guys. There's not, not much of an update, except I've felt more pressure and I've been more tired. I think that's going to be the story of my life until he's born. <laughs> so I'm going to get progressively more tired, more out of breath, and the pressure is going to get more intense. So... Anyway, but he's doing good. I'm doing good. I'll see you guys back in a little bit. I'll show you how the making of the sour cream noodle bake goes. It's going to be delicious. Anything from the Pioneer Woman. The Pioneer Woman is delicious. So I'll see you guys back in a little bit. All right, you guys. So I thought you might like to see what I'm having for lunch today. I have no like actual lunchy type thing. So I'm going to have like a snacky lunch. This is on a salad plate. It looks like a lot bigger in camera, but I have some Ritz crackers, some pepperoni, a cheese stick, some cashews and pistachios, and a cut up apple. So kind of a snacky lunch as I'm doing some work. So this is what I'm having today.
so I got dinner made and I had that in the fridge. I just popped it in the oven because it's a few hours later. I was able to make an extra one that I thought. I had a smaller pan, so I just had like two and a half um, <laughs> sour cream noodle bakes. Then I came in here and I've been working on my jewelry because we have a show tonight. I'm about to pull some pieces that have already sold. Oh, it's a lot of work, y'all. I wanted to show you guys, because you are blessed just people. Okay, I cannot do this and talk at the same time. <laughs> I do have some blessed jewelry. If you're interested, definitely come find me on Facebook. All of our all of our inspirational jewelry that say blessed, like the, it's not one of focus, but this is a stretchy bracelet, bracelet that says blessed. I have this one that says blessed if you want to represent it really doesn't want to focus, but it's really pretty on Facebook. You can see pictures of it. And then I have a pink and green bracelet that says blessed. Anyway, all of it is tax free. Stepping on stuff this week only. So come find me on Facebook. Send me a message or something and let me know if you live in the U.S. I can sell you a $5 blessed chest bracelet. Shipping is only $4. It's a really great jewelry. Anyway, I'm going to pull some orders. Um, the kids are eating dinner right now. I just made them some chicken because they won't really eat the sour cream noodle bake. I thought maybe I'd get Lucy to try it. Sometimes she likes pasta with like a meat sauce. Sometimes. Um, but probably the ground beef is going to turn her off. Like she would rather have just it not beefy. Anyway, so they're having some chicken and french fries. Nate lost his electronic privileges because of his behavior at school. It's not funny, but uh, sometimes you have to laugh to keep from crying. He knows the rules and he knows if he doesn't have a certain level of behavior, he will lose his privileges. And he did today. So he's been, um, he's actually done really good. He's played a lot and read a lot and we've tried to keep him busy with different activities. But anyways, um, after they get done eating and we get done eating, I will show you guys the how it comes out in the oven. Hopefully it tastes good. Um, I need to bake my cookies for the cookie swap. I need to bake my cookies for the cookie swap. I hear, I hear screaming outside. <laughs> um, outside the door. Uh, I need to bake my cookies for Saturday. I'm not going to have time tomorrow, so I've got to bake them tonight before the jewelry show. Oh, I'm exhausted, y'all. So basically this recipe, you take chocolate chip cookie dough, I just bought the pre-made kind, and you add a little bit of extra flour and just so they don't spread out so thin, and you roll them into balls and you bake them for like, I said like 12 minutes, but just bake them until they're done, and then you poke a little indentation in them, and you take melted caramel and put melted caramel in the middle. You could also put nuts, I'm, I'm leaving the nuts out. A lot of people, I think the recipe says roll it in pecans before you bake it. I'm not doing that, but you can if you want to. Then I, then you spoon a little bit of melted caramel in the indentations, and when they cool, you drizzle them with chocolate, and then you sprinkle them with sea salt. So it's like a sea salt caramel chocolate chip cookie. So I need to get those made for Saturday. We're having a big cookie swap, so the fun never ends. And I just realized we're also supposed to do an ornament swap, so... I need to go back to the store and get an ornament. I forgot about that. But anyway, I'm going to pull some jewelry. I'm going to bake some cookies. I'll let you guys know how everything turns out once I pull stuff out of the oven. All right, you guys. So I just pulled this out of the oven. It looks great. This is not a very saucy dish, which I'm okay with. But um, you can always increase the sauce. I'll link. I'll try to link the recipe down below. I did use a pasta sauce instead of the regular tomato sauce just because that's what I had. But anyway, I just pulled this out. I'm going to get going on the cookies. And, um, oh man, y'all. <laughs> I can do it. I can do it. But anyway, this is what dinner looks like. It looks really yummy. It might have got a little bit brown, but it'll be good. Okay, you guys. Lucy wants to sing you guys a song she learned in music class. Do the, do the motions with it, too. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Ha, ha. Good job. Lucy's learning all about music notes. Okay, so I have the first batch here of little cookie dough bite balls and then we're about to go in the oven. Um, 
let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Y'all, I'm not sure I'm going to have two dozen because I think I made them a little too big. Um, they're just chocolate chip cookie dough balls. I know. I just don't touch them. I know. Don't touch them. Don't touch them. Don't touch them. Okay. So just make chocolate chip. she's not excited about the caramel part. I may end up having to go get more cookie dough because I don't want to re-roll these smaller. <laughs> I still have a good bit. Maybe I can stretch it and make it work. I've got flour. I got flour all over my baby bump. Okay, real quick. Layla's listening to you too. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna. I'll let you guys know how these turn out. All right, you guys, this caramel melted up beautifully. So I put a little indentation in the cookies, which also look delicious. And I'm gonna try to do this with one hand, so you can see. I'm gonna take like a teaspoon and put it in the middle. I don't want to do too much because I'm afraid it won't set up right. And after these dry, I'm gonna drizzle them with melted chocolate. This is a really easy recipe. Hopefully it comes out tasting good. Yum. Okay. I'm going to keep going with both hands now. <laughs> this is looking a little bit like a hot mess, but I think I've got it going the way I want. So I filled it with caramel. I melted some almond bark chocolate. And I think the knife is going to be the best to sort of drizzle this. They're not the prettiest cookies in the world. And then once I drizzle it, I'm going to top it with some sea salt. And they are chocolate chip caramel sea, sea salt chocolate. What are they called? Uh, sea salt chocolate caramel cookies. Sea salt caramel chocolate chip cookies. So, I'm going to try to do this a little neater, and I'll see you guys back when they all get done. Alright, you guys, so I got these all done. They had a little bit of time to dry, so now I'm just putting them in this, and I'm going to cover it with foil. And then the next time I go to the store, I'm sure one of us will go in the next 24 hours, um, I'm going to get a Christmas tray. I thought I had one, but I don't have, like, a cookie tray, so um, David Taste tested them and gave them the thumbs up, and I think they look really good. So, those are my cookies that I'm taking to the cookie swap. It, it made like right at 30, I think. So definitely over two dozen. So that's good. Right now we have five minutes to go to our, till our jewelry show. So I'll check back in with you guys after it's over. All right, you guys. So it is now almost midnight and I am tired. So we had our jewelry show. We got done around 10, 15 or so maybe. And on Thursday nights is when I invoice everybody for the week. And it took me a little bit longer than normal and I went ahead and packaged everything up so I could mail it. And I am so sore. Sitting on that wooden chair that we have, I guess is what did it. Oh my gosh, I told you guys I'm having so much pressure with this baby and man, I feel like I can barely walk. It makes me think of Mary, the mother of Jesus, like the whole thing of how she had to travel on donkey. When she was like nine months pregnant, I, I don't even know how you would do that. Because I can't even just sit in a chair, obviously, for like two hour, an hour and a half, two hours without being like, oh my gosh, I can't move. So I'm going to go lay down. Hopefully this pressure gets a lot better. It's not contractions or anything. It's just like a lot of pressure. I think he's really low and it hurts to walk or move. So um, the kitchen is a disaster. I made those cookies. And it was time to do the show, and I didn't have time to clean up. So we have, like, chocolate stuff everywhere. <laughs> it's going to be really fun to wake up to that in the morning. Who hates waking up to a messy kitchen? It's the absolute worst. Part of me wants to stand here and do it, but I can't. I physically can't. So I'm going to call it a night. I'm also sitting here debating eating something because I feel kind of hungry. I did That dinner was really good, but... I didn't have too much of it and it's now like six hours later so anyway I love you guys if you like this video you know what to do give it a super big thumbs up leave us a comment down below please subscribe if you're new we'll see you guys all later we'll see you back for tomorrow vlogmas day 15 bye